Greetings, Daffod Up Morgan here. This is a Daijobu Kuma production for Scandally Clad. We're working on Cavalier of the Abyss, Chapter 41, using the Typesetterer tool. And this is going to be Part 1. This is the website where you can get the Typesetterer tool. What we're going to do now is we're going to take a script that I received. I've got it prepared, formatted the way that I want it that works best with Typesetter or Tool on the way I'm typesetting. We then copy the text, Control C, bring up the Typesetter or Tool. It's a standalone executable, so you can place it anywhere on your hard drive that you want. The first thing we're going to do is load the script. You can load the script two ways. You can either open up a file from a file using this button, or you can go ahead, as I'm doing here, copy and paste the text into the left-hand field. And you see that automatically it will format it here on the right for use with the tool. You do have several features where you can remove things that you don't want. You can also convert things to the way that you want them. I've already prepared the script myself, so we'll skip over that part. Tell it OK. Now we need to choose the PSDs that we're going to use for the typesetting. That's going to be Cavalier of the Abyss, Chapter 41. We select or highlight all of them. Tell it to open. The next, we need to link the pages together. You can see here that that's already been done. So we just go through, make sure that we don't have like duplicate pages, like two page 42s of text. That can happen when it's misnumbered in the text file. And what I'll do is go down to the end and always make sure that the ending numbers match. 58 matches page 58 here. That tells me they're properly in sequence. So we hit OK. And then we tell it to get started. It will invoke Photoshop and bring up the first page to be typeset. All right, Photoshop is loaded. And this is what you'll see when Photoshop loads. We have a dialog box here that is always on top. And it has the lines of text for this page that we're going to typeset. One thing you need to do is to make sure that you click this checkbox, Save and Close Previous Page on Move Next. That way, when you close the page after you do the typesetting, it'll close it when you hit this right arrow, then bring up the new page. If you don't, it will keep opening up pages without closing them, and that will quickly soak up your system resources. I've skipped ahead to page 37. It has a good mix of both dialogue and special effects. Let's zoom in here. Now, Using the Typesetter tool is simple. The first line of text we're going to place is the let with the ellipse. So we simply go in here, create a text box. Then after we've created the text box, we simply hit F2. and it will place the text. Let's make sure it's black here. Yes, it is. Now, when I'm placing text, I like to look at the size of the image. It's 1,600 pixels in height. That's fairly typical for typesetting, for scan groups, pardon me. So what I'll typically do is I'll make the pixels the font about 16 to 18 pixels in size as a default. So then we go to the next one, which is an SFX. Go here, F2, F3 to tell it we're done, move to the next line, as you can see. We go here, create a text box, hit F2. You can also click on the check mark to say we're done with that one, move to the next one. We then go here, place the text again. You can see you can use either point text or paragraph text. And then we can go F3 to tell it we're done. 
go here for another SFX F2 to place F3 to move to the next line. F2, no we don't want, we want a paragraph box, pardon me, not a point text. So we F2, move that into initial position, we'll style it later. Then we zoom in a little bit more for the, er, um, oops, text here. The six dots or two ellipses there. And then the next one here. Then let's zoom back out for the killer glare from outer space. SFX, F2, F3. And then again place F2. And let's make it fit in there a little bit better. Do a return. There we are. Hit the check mark or press F3. Another SFX, F2, F3. Big block of dialog, F2. And then the final SFX, F2, F3. And there we are, we've placed the text for the page.